I'm gonna share with you one uh, software that uh, I have recently found. It's uh, practically the same as uh, Figma, except uh, it integrates the AI in uh, some of its uh, core features, which makes designing process fun, especially for beginners. By the way, when I say the same as Figma, I mean that uh, it has uh, pretty much the same user interface, shortcuts and others, that uh, leads to the fast adaptation for those uh, coming from Figma. Oh, and one more thing, it's uh, really easy to implement your uh, existing uh, Figma project into Creaty. So be sure to check that out. What I really like about this uh, software is that uh, it has a uh, generative uh, imagery AI that allows you to generate whatever you need for your project in a matter of seconds. It has an AI that can quickly find uh, some UI components that you are looking for and embed them in your project. It can generate a completely documented style guide just from looking on your design project. You can also use a tool to remove uh, image background from uh, some of those uh, images, and more. Now, there are also things that uh, could be improved, like for example, I would love to see some uh, more AI-generated uh, UI components, as well as a uh, choosing components uh, category like uh, Android, iOS, web and desktop. Some of the tools are uh, still in beta, which means they are still improving. But all in all, a potentially good software. Now, we're gonna test this uh, software and with the help of an AI, design uh, two screens for a mobile application. So, open up uh, create.ai to sign in. After that, click create a new file to open up a new project. You can see that a uh, user interface uh, looks the same as uh, in Figma. We can use uh, those uh, same shortcuts, like for example F, to access the frame tool. After that, on the right side you can see a panel to select a couple of predefined frame dimensions. I will choose Android Large. Perfect. Right now I'm gonna show you the AI tool that will help us to search and uh, embed some uh, UI components directly in this frame. So select the area within your frame where you want to embed and place this uh, UI component. I will type here a, a search query and then uh, choose one of those uh, components that uh, I think will fit good in my use case. Of course, you will be able to fully edit these components afterwards. Plus, this component is uh, completely scalable which uh, makes it easy to integrate in existing designs. For example, I'm gonna remove this uh, auto layout between uh, sign up and uh, these uh, social buttons down below. After that, I will align those elements on the bottom of this apparent frame so that we can make some more space for the logo on the top. But before we add the logo, I'm just gonna modify the text for this second button on the bottom. And also we can change the icon. So on the left panel we can search for the icons tab. And from there, just type the search query to search for an Apple logo which then we can use to drag and drop into our design frame. Uh, next, uh, I want to show you another AI tool called Replace. So this uh, tool is uh, still in beta. It allows you to change uh, certain properties of your design in a bulk. Like for example, I want to change the font uh, of uh, all these uh, text elements in our frame. So this tool will uh, analyze our fonts that we are currently using and we can easily swap them with the uh, custom ones of our choice. Now, one thing that uh, I think that uh, they could improve here is the font uh, weight. So for example, the Roboto font that I'm planning to use here have a font weights like a regular, medium, bold and so on. And from this uh, window directly, I don't see those options which uh, is why I would have to change them uh, manually afterwards. But nevertheless, it's still an amazing feature. Then I'm gonna create here a logo for this uh, signing screen in a form of a text. So the text will have a, a custom font family with a, a bigger font size. We can now drag and drop this uh, font or uh, this text element inside our existing frame. And now, to be able to center this uh, font uh, where uh, we have all this uh, blank space, I'm gonna have to wrap this uh, text element inside the, another frame. So just press the shortcut uh, Shift plus uh, A on this selected text and then we will wrap this uh, text inside the frame. So now, within this frame, we can choose a height to be the fill parent and then just align the child text element on the center.
As simple as that. Afterwards, we can proceed on a second screen. So here we want to add uh, some kind of a card components, and instead of uh, manually building them from scratch, I'm gonna use that uh, same tool from the beginning of this video to generate the card components. What's also great here is that uh, from the resource uh, images tab, we can choose uh, one of those available categories to generate images for our design project. I have selected an element uh, from this uh, screen to which I want to apply a new image. Then, on the left side, just select uh, and click on the food or a drinks category, for example. And don't worry, you can also search for a custom image besides those uh, existing categories. There you go, so in a matter of seconds, we were able to fill in those uh, image placeholders with a new one. While we are here, let me duplicate this uh, first screen for a moment and show you a text resource which is also available within this section. Let's say that we want to design how our screen will look like with the filled-in fields. We don't have to think too much here. Just select the text element that you want to generate, and then choose one of the available options to automatically generate the text for the username as well as the email. Pretty convenient. The next AI tool that I'm going to show you is called Magicon. So this is an AI prompt that can generate 3D or 2D images. We can choose the style of the generated image, then we can upload our own image reference or we can use an existing one as well. Afterwards, type the prompt that you want to generate and click the button. I'm gonna add this image on top of our second screen. And then, on top of this generated image, we can also add uh, some kind of a colored overlay, because we are also planning to add uh, other different components, like a search field, on top of this one. And I'm gonna also modify this component to leave uh, only those elements that I actually need for this use case. Then you can update here the title text, change the overlay color, you can duplicate this uh, first component and update uh, its uh, images, text elements and others. And finally we can add some new icons to replace those two on the top. There you go. Now the last thing which I want to show you here is a style guide. Now based on this design that we have already created, we can now generate a complete style guide in a formatted way. Let me show you. So choose the style guide tool, then select all those three screens or those three frames, and click Generate button. That's it. So after a few seconds, you will be able to see new frames on the canvas, where you can inspect all the colors that were generated for this design, a typography, corner radius levels, effects, and more. Bottom line, I like how fast we are able to create this design project, so this tool seems to have all the tools that we need without having to leave the browser tab and look for some external resources. Now, they do have to work on improving the platform furthermore, to support more components, more icons, enhance these generative AI features and more. But overall, I think that they do have a potential. So, what do you think about all of this? Will they be able to attract some more designers to the platform? Comment down below, let me know.